Tom Heddingson. Welcome. Good evening. <clears throat> Tom Henningsen, uh, resident Monroeville. Mayor, uh, four months ago, I came before you telling you about an address problem we are having on Maplecrest Lane. And at the time, you said that should be an easy, easy issue to address. We are still in the same situation today. It's an issue that was brought up three and a half years ago. Um, <clears throat> the problem is that uh, my family's addresses are mixed up with the address next door. And the next door actually has uh, had at the time a utility account that was, ad that was listed in, uh, to our address. In addition to that, I have information here from today that <clears throat> that property is still using our address. And so the question is, where are we standing? Why? <coughs> What's going on? Mr. Little or Mr. My, Tom, you and I have talked about this extensively. In fact, I think I remember running into you up at Eaton Park a couple years ago and mentioning to you the, st the status of what that is. In 2012, the municipality did a whole um, study on the roads that were not marked, named, uh, w w more so for 911 purposes, okay? And now I wasn't here in 2012. Uh, my understanding is is that the people on Maplecrest Drive, all, 100% of the people that live there had to agree to have their addresses changed. If that's not done, then the municipality, the council at that time, was not going to do anything, and that's where it stands right now. But that is not correct. I mean, we need a legal address. Mr. Harvey has pointed out a number of times that we need to put a... Na uh, a, a number on the house <coughs> asking what is that number I need a letter from the municipality telling me what the addresses are on the two properties we have and I'm also asking that that letter specify that these addresses comply with the Allegheny 911 code and with the postal code I mean, uh, if you take the current address, 3890C, that's not an address that Amazon will accept. It's not a proper postal code. And, of course, my solution to the problem would be to put numbers on, on all of these and not go with this ABC system, because it by itself is difficult to explain when you call 911. You have to say, well, it's a Logan Ferry Road address, but it is on Maplecrest Lane and so on. Well, so I, it's not a legal address the way it stands today, period. Okay, my understanding what you want, I'm going to repeat back to you what I think you want. Okay, you want the name changed from Logan's Ferry Extension to Maple Crest Drive, am I correct? That's my recommendation. Okay. But what I'm asking for is a letter from Monroeville telling me what my address is and also telling the other residents that I affected by that. Because what happened is that to comply with the 911 system, the, uh, <coughs> some of the addresses were moved around. And, but the people who were affected by this were not uh, notified. And that's why the neighbor, with some justification, can continue to use the old address, because they've never been informed that it was changed. How, how, how many residents are involved on that? There, there are about uh, 14 properties. So there's 14, uh, Crest Lane 14 is individual about, homes? No, uh, Maplecrest Lane is about a third of a mile long. There's about 14 I'm properties. I'm familiar with that, but... There are eight... Uh, occupied homes. Eight act, active addresses, depending on how you count. Oh, is Maplecrest a paper street, as they call it? No, it's a private road. I agree, I agree with Tom. It should be changed. But the fact of the matter is... It's a consummatic decision. Let's change it. And we've, we've had discussions. I've, I've talked to Tom multiple times about this, is that when you change people's addresses, you've got to do it across the board with everybody that's on the street, and they may or may not agree with it because you've got to change your driver's license, your mortgage, your credit cards, all your banking information. Yeah, it's it is heavy. a very encumbering project. If, and that's why we have told him repeatedly, you get everybody's agreement to yeah, change why, your why address. Why would you try and get change it? Yeah, and then Petition. we can do it. No, I can, why don't you? Yeah, go to all the names. I'm not in a bill. Uh, I don't have the ability to do that. In part, you need homes. 
What's that? Eight homes. Well, the part homes. is that some of these properties in the various types of sales uh, situations, I'm, it's not even clear to me who owns the various properties at this point. So, well, I meant the eight residents that are currently yeah, the there. Ones that live if there. you got their consent, there should be no issue because if you sell it to me, I'm going to inherit that address. Yeah, I, I don't want to publicly go into this, okay. but it's not something I can do. Can we, how about this? What if we do a, uh, Mr. Little had a suggestion, if we could maybe round up everyone, the eight homes, the eight homeowners, maybe send letters to them and we maybe set up a meeting potentially here with Mr. Little and staff, explain everything, and then you guys can come to a solution on your street with what's best. Well, but because in all fairness to, I mean, the point that Mr. Hughes made was that there might be some people that don't want to change. Don't want to change at all. I mean, every all the documentation, health records. Mm -hmm. I mean, the yeah, list goes on. And more there are yeah. everything. But it's already happening. The, I, the, 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 these I agree with Mr. Little. Let's let's well, but send the, letters to all the residents and get everyone together. Idea. But but come the, up with a consensus, and then we can move forward. With that. Because I don't think we I mean, can't do anything right now. And but, I think that the I council. Agree. I think the council. They be happy to make a change sure right. however the flip side is they probably are only going to make a change if they have everybody the support of everybody it. but mm -hmm. but recognize that the addresses that exist now uh, you cannot enter as an example on your driver's license because they are not legal postal codes okay but we're, but, but we're, i'm we're only we're asking trying, we're trying to come up with it okay. with an uh, but, amicable but, solution <laughs> and so i think sending letters to everyone if let's that's get everyone one, together and see yeah. what we or at least do. reach out to all the homeowners and may, if, even if they maybe don't want to come to a meeting, at least give them the opportunity to speak yeah. to the staff, to talk to Mr. Little at, over the phone to explain the situation. Because but you're right, maybe there's some new owners that maybe don't understand this is even going but, on. But, but we see, are I'm providing not... some public services here, aren't we, Tom? Oh, yeah. What's that? Yeah, we right. are providing some public services. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it is a municipal road. Pardon me? Uh, it is a municipal road. But That's it is a, not. An, uh, a thing we have argued. But, you know, Maplecrest Lane is 150 years old. It has been serviced by Monroeville for as long as any road in Monroeville has had services. And if you look at the legal background of that, it long ago became a municipal road. But it's one that Paul and I have been going about. <laughs> well, maybe at this point, I think the best solution is maybe for council, if the council's okay with this. I am. To have, 100%. have uh, the building department send letters to everything. You have everyone on file there send letters just explaining the situation and that we either set up a meeting or Mr. Mayor, call I, them. I think you should get a meeting because otherwise you're going to have a he said, she said people. Well, no, I, I understand that, but I mean, you might have people that don't want to come to a meeting, but you have to at least make a fair attempt by certified well, mail to everybody. Exactly. Yes. Agreed. Try to set up a meeting. Yes. So. We'll send a letter. Thank okay. you. But, but Mayor, good. just to be clear, I'm not asking for a change on the road. I'm asking for a letter from the municipality telling me what my address is because it has been changed correct but I, I don't think i don't think the municipality is ready to do that unless they speak to all the residents right okay so let's start with the letters first okay very good thank now, you now another issue has to do with the code enforcement on maple quest lane mr Hennessy, can we cover this at another time we are well over your five minutes and okay uh, i'll be back on tuesday thank you thank, thank you, you very much uh, 